Kanye West went to the West Wing this week and Trump basically let him come in and talk. He just talked and talked and talked. And the thing is, Kanye wasn't saying anything that Trump couldn't have heard him say another way. He did not have to go to the Oval Office to do that. So I don't know how much you're going to hear this from people, but what actually was happening is Trump was just letting him talk, which meant that all those cameras and reporters behind me were going to report what Kanye said, not because they thought it was interesting or newsworthy, but because it was said in the Oval Office. So Trump's kind of giving this guy an audience bigger than a football stadium because the whole nation will have access to this. This will be reported all over that Kanye was there talking to the president. Okay, well, that was brilliant what the president did. And, it, you know, it, it kind of sort of came time for the president to talk, be able to talk. And he said, wow, I mean, what do I say? I mean, let, you know, you know, let this guy talk. Let him, let him talk more. I mean, this is, this is great. I can't say something better than that. And that was kind of Trump's response. Now, one thing I liked that Kanye said was that we should study math, say, while playing basketball uh, in school. Because school, uh, you know, school's boring. It's not this ADD thing. It, that's not real. It's just school's boring for smart people. Now, me, I don't play basketball. I've never been good at it. I've never really been interested in it. Maybe that makes me racist against Canadians where basketball was invented. But me, I like to watch hockey if we're going to do Canadian-ish sports. And I personally, I like to skateboard. I mean, I, I, you know, Sunday morning skate, you know, I, I skate Sunday morning, you know, go to guys.com, G U Y Z E.com and buy the shirt. I, I'm a skateboarder. I mean, I, I think we should have skateboarding in school. Why not H have a skateboarding uh, PE class where, um, you know, people are drilling their times tables, like, 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 you know, literally, you know, take whatever information you've got to cram into your thinker to remember for your test. Well, whatever it is. How does a big chart up there? Call it study skate. You know, there's no reason we can't do that stuff with school. I, I mean, I'm a one-on-one -on -one tutor of about 25 years here, and I've taught multiple subjects, multiple students. I've taught multiple topics at once by having the student do these multiple topic activities, just like Kanye was talking about. There's no reason we can't do that and have it fit school board curriculum. We don't need to dumb down education to do it. Why not? That's just, that's just brilliant. Study while you're skating. Find, help kids get a plan uh, to be able to do that. that I mean, that's, of course, that's, that's like a no-brainer, man. That's awesome. And I like him saying this kind of stuff. Now, they did talk about stop and frisk. And Kanye basically said that, you know, if you're trying to get police and the people to get along in Chicago, that's not the way to do it. And then the press asked Trump, well, you like stop and frisk, President Trump. What do you think about this? And Trump said, well, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. You know, uh, it'll be interesting to see where that goes. I'm, I'm going to be following that. I want to know what happens with the stop and frisk thing, what Trump says about it, what Chicago d does as far as he's having to listen and heed the wisdom of what Trump and or Kanye are saying about this and what other cities might do something about that. Um, I, I personally, I don't like stop and frisk, if you're curious. I, I think that's police state stuff. You need a warrant, period. I think there's other ways to do stuff. Uh, maybe you could have a dog stop and sniff, you know, get the, the sniff test. Here, 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 here's, we'll stop, stop, here's a dog, he's going to sniff you, and uh, if he likes you, you can pet him. You know, wouldn't that be fun to pet the dog? Everyone loves to pet dogs. I mean, you know, that might be all right, maybe, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to get, but, okay, that'll be interesting to see where that goes. I, I genuinely think that Trump is listening, and he's open to ideas. So, th there was a lot that was said, you know, Trump's always been strong for police. Kanye said, well, we've got some bad apples, you know, or something like that, you know, we got to get rid of that, we can't have the bad, you know police, but you know, we need police. They need to do their jobs, but police can't do their jobs if, if we're not acting responsibly, you know, so he did have a lot of great, good stuff to say. Now it's being misreported and partially reported, misreported, partially reported that Kanye is supposedly this white supremacist KKK leader in a black man's skin. Now that's, you know, like, like one guy said, I see black lips moving, but all I hear coming out of his mouth is a bunch of white racist supremacist stuff. Um, I think that kind of misreporting and partial reporting is only going to affect people that don't understand that when you hear a soundbite, five seconds, 30 seconds, something, you know, about that size, you need to go back and listen to the whole thing. 
Now, I don't know what type of a soundbite you can take out of this to make Kanye sound bad, except for his multiple universes thing. But, you know, what the heck ever. Um, in fact, I, I like what Justin Wilson said about that. But the false reporting and the partial reporting about what Kanye said is only going to affect people that didn't grow up being taught at home that you got to get it from the horse's mouth, which actually means look at the horse's teeth to see how old he is because horse's teeth age, you know, like that's how old, that's, that's how you know how old a horse is. You look at his teeth. So from the horse's mouth, that, that's where that's from. Um, if you grow up being taught at home that you got to go to the source, you can't just listen to a couple snippets, no matter how convincing it sounds. Oh, he said that, <gasps> you know, sorry. No, you're totally convinced. You totally believe it, but you're not allowed to because you didn't hear the whole thing. If you've grown up learning that, then that misreporting and partial reporting on Kanye West isn't going to affect you. But if you haven't learned that because no one taught you, then that kind of stuff is going to produce a negative impact. So I really think the only people that are going to be fooled by that misreporting and partial reporting are people that haven't been taught how to think. So let's teach them. Let's teach them how to think. Listen to Kanye West video yourself. Links in the description. That's what I think.